Narcissists are fully aware of their superiority and significance. This is why they quickly attack anyone who threatens their fragile egos. Their self-esteem is brittle and requires constant maintenance. You might be surprised at how sensitive narcissists can be about seemingly minor issues. If you are curious about it, here are 10 ways to damage a narcissist's fragile ego. Number 1. Don't compliment them. Narcissists need constant reassurance and validation. This means that you should always compliment them on their physical appearance, intelligence, or anything else that makes them feel confident about themselves. If you don't compliment them, this can damage their ego, making them angry and lashing out at you. Narcissists are so used to getting compliments from everyone, so when you stop praising them, they'll be thrown off guard and start questioning themselves. This will make them feel like you don't care about them at all, which will crush their self-esteem and make them feel worthless. Narcissists are especially sensitive to positive reinforcement. They'll have a hard time accepting that they can't be the best in everything. Number 2. Criticize them directly. Do you know what gets under a narcissist's skin? Being criticized directly. It's important to remember that narcissists are fragile and sensitive people. Criticizing the narcissist directly can feel like a huge betrayal. Narcissists are used to being praised and adored, so when they get criticized, they experience it as a threat to their self-esteem. Criticize them also in front of other people. You could say they need the validation of others to sustain their self-esteem, which will hurt them more than anything else. Critique their appearance or style choices in public places, such as restaurants or bars, where everyone can see them. Narcissists are sensitive about their appearance and the way they behave so much. They'll often go out of their way to make sure everyone else knows how great they look and what an amazing person they are. When someone criticizes their appearance or behavior directly, Narcissists can take it personally and feel like they've been attacked on a personal level. Number 3. Ignore them or pretend they don't exist. Narcissists are so wrapped up in themselves that the only way to get through to them is to ignore them or pretend they don't exist. When you ignore a narcissist, you're not just ignoring them. You're ignoring their entire sense of self. Narcissists need constant attention and validation. So if you just pretend they don't exist, it will hurt their feelings and make them feel like they're not necessary. Narcissists can't empathize with others. So when you ignore them, it feels like a slap in the face. This can be as simple as a conversation where you aren't responding to the things they say or doing something that makes them feel like their opinion doesn't matter. It's an effective way to show a narcissist that they have no power over you, which can help you feel more control in your life. This one will be hard if you're the kind who likes to be nice to everyone. Number 4. Don't let them be in control of every situation. Narcissists love to be in control. They want to be the ones calling the shots and making decisions, and they can't stand it when you try to take that power away from them. You can damage a narcissist's ego by not letting them be in control of every situation. A narcissist needs to feel like they are in control of everything. If you give them that sense of authority over situations, they will start to expect it all the time. They'll try to ensure they have the final say on what you do, how you do it, and when. If you want to keep your head above the water in a relationship with a narcissist, Make sure they don't get too much control over your life. If you want to ensure that your narcissist doesn't get out of line or hurt you, then don't give them any opportunities to do so. If they're trying to take over your life and make all of the decisions for you, set some boundaries right away so that they know they can't run over your rights. Number 5. Challenge their authority or imply that they are wrong. Narcissists know that they are superior to most people. They don't take kindly to anyone challenging them or implying that they could be wrong about anything. 
especially if there is any hint of disrespect in how you say things. If you want to damage a narcissist's ego, you'd better be prepared for a fight. Narcissists will immediately feel threatened and defensive when you challenge something they believe in. This can lead to them lashing out at you or trying to get the upper hand by making it seem like they are the right one, and you are at fault for everything. Narcissists often respond aggressively when challenged, so it's important to approach the situation carefully to avoid getting hurt. Number 6. Disagree with everything they say and do. Narcissists live in an alternate reality in which they are always right. So, disagreeing with them can be extremely damaging to their ego. They will begin to feel insecure and inferior to you if you disagree with everything they say. Narcissists are overconfident, so they feel threatened and angry when they encounter someone who disagrees or does not agree with them. They can't stand being wrong or made look too foolish in front of others. So this treatment will make them feel like they've lost control of the situation. Narcissists will do anything they can to regain that control. They might become angry, hurtful, manipulative, or abusive. Narcissists might also try to manipulate you into changing your behavior so that you don't disagree with them anymore. Number 7. Refuse to listen to their ideas or plans. When a narcissist has an idea, they expect you to hear it. They want you to hear it, appreciate it, and possibly even help them make it a reality. One of the best ways to damage a narcissist's ego is to refuse to listen to them. You are telling them they're not worth your time but refusing to listen. Narcissists thrive on attention and praise. So if you're sick of hearing how wonderful they are or are not interested in their latest business venture, don't give them the satisfaction of listening to their ideas. Even if you think their ideas are bad, let them discuss them until they run out of steam. This will make them feel less powerful, essential for maintaining their ego. Number 8. Make fun of them in public by teasing, joking, or being sarcastic. Narcissists thrive on being the center of attention and having people admire and respect them. If you're trying to make a narcissist feel bad, there's no better way than to make fun of them in public. If you can get a group of friends to tease them or joke around with them, it will hurt their ego more than anything else you can do. Narcissists love to be funny themselves, but they don't like being made fun of. They are susceptible to people joking around and being sarcastic. So, don't be surprised if they lash out at you. If you want to get under their skin, try acting like one of their jokes is funny when everyone else laughs at it. Then wait 5 minutes and tell them it's not funny. You'll see their face turn red as they struggle to maintain appearances. Number 9. Tell them they're not as good as someone else. A narcissist is someone who loves to feel special and unique. A narcissist's entire identity is built around feeling better than everyone else. So when you tell them that they're not as good as someone, you're undermining the foundation of their entire personality. And that feels like a massive blow in their egos. Narcissists will likely argue with you about this. But it's only because they want to prove that they are the best and won't accept any other outcome. If you disagree with their assessment of themselves, they'll try even harder to prove themselves right. Once you try to compliment someone else, this will be a surefire way to make a narcissist feel inferior and unimportant. Number 10. Say no to their requests for help, attention, or favors. Narcissists believe they are more unique, intelligent, and capable than others. When you are with a narcissist, you've probably noticed how good they are at requesting favors and attention. When narcissists need your help, they can be shameless and easily guilt trip you into giving it. The narcissist's self-esteem is dependent on the admiration of others. They want to be the center of attention, 
loved and adored by everyone around them, and they will go to any length to ensure that happens. Refusing their requests for assistance or favors can be damaging to their ego. Narcissists will believe you are rejecting them, which they will find difficult to accept. Narcissists are difficult people to deal with. However, in this day and age, you may interact with one at some point. Dealing with a narcissist can be difficult, especially because their egos are fragile. They may appear arrogant or conceited, but they are very insecure. As a result, it's critical not to feed into their egos and to find a way to avoid them if you ever happen to destroy one. Is this video interesting? Leave a comment below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. It helps us a lot. Take advantage of this exciting video right here.